Hello everyone, this is Seraphira, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Uh, it is now day 4, uh, sun just came up, and this is kind of where the base is at the moment. Uh, I do finally have a little area where I can do crafting. I was looking into baking the forge, but I think I'm just slightly missing something, or do I actually have everything? Uh, why can't I hit craft? Do I not have the skill? You don't have the necessary resources. Okay. Uh, I've got the stone. Got the soil. I'm missing five leather. Okay. Anyway, it's day four. Uh, which means... Uh, I don't know, three days, I guess, until the board comes. Uh, and since I like to be prepared, I think that's what we're going to start on. Uh, the forge is important, but not as important as actually the, well, board base. So um, we are at bedrock, uh, plus four. If I would go down one more, that would be bedrock, but I just put one tile on top of it. There we go. All the way up the long stairs. Um, I will eventually upgrade all of this to cobblestone. I uh, eventually need to take this stuff down as well. Let's see what do we got here. I don't know. I'm going to test something quick. I do have enough wood to. 15 on me. I just don't know if I can jump. Let's go get some more wood and then we'll test that out. Oh crap. <laughs> don't don't run towards him. Okay. And as long as the bear stays away from me. And of course, he's hanging out right at the base. So I'm going to make the, the horde base over near the trainer, um, not right next to it. I think I do have a plan to eventually make the fort base kind of as close to the trader as I can and making basically a pit all around it. I don't think I want to do it with this with you though. I think I might do that with Jen like kind of like you're protecting her or something like you're building this moat around her but <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Alright. As soon as we get enough wood here, hopefully that bear won't have moved away. I do need to shut that door, but I, I did not want to be that close to the bear. been playing Myth of Empires a lot, so that's why I'm used to clicking I instead. I'm also used to clicking, right clicking on the thing to get craft one to show up. <laughs> okay, you stay over there. What did you just hit? I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, we can. Okay. So, apparently the zombie's AI has some sort of thing where if they don't see a direct path, 
like if they can't see that they, they can actually climb all the way down here and um, they don't see it as a path so either they'll try to dig uh, which I, I guess that's fine or they'll uh, I don't look for somewhere else um, but for now and we do need a lot more wood because we need to start building the base so what I want to do well, what I'm going to do is see if I have some more wood, because I don't think I used it at all. Um, I don't see anything here. There's some stone, which we'll probably need to turn into cobblestone. Uh, I was going to put a storage container over here. Yeah, no wood. Is this all the wood I have, apparently? That I'm aware of, anyway. Alright, well, I'm going to cut away, get some wood, and then I'll meet you near the trader. Alright, so this is where we're going to make the base. I'll show you in a second as soon as she's <laughs> out of the way. Here we go. Alright, so, trader's right here. There's this intersection along the way. Um, I want a path basically that comes straight down where that center line is. And then they're going to start to come up some stairs, uh, which will be the path to get to the base, which should be the only path that they should be choosing. But first, I want to clear all this stuff out because it eventually it'll be very valuable. Um, yeah, let's look at it on the map, too. Alright, yep. So they're going to come straight down here and into where the base is going to be. Um, kind of a bridge. Uh, it'll be very similar to what I did in my last series. Um, except that I'm not... It's not going to be as big. Um, because it doesn't have to be, because it's not going to be the crafting base as well. All right, so let me get this kind of cleared. And I think I should be making more of this. So, all right, it won't be straight on the center. One, two, three. No, oh, and it wouldn't be there either. Okay, well, that's fine. It won't be quite how I kind of want that to be an arrow to where they're going, but eh, whatever. Um, now let's just use the pop. All right, so I think this is fine for now, because it's not going to be permanent. And I'm going to start out 5 by 5 yeah, There must be something there blocking it. Does it not like? All right, well. Oh, there's a stone there. All right, well. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this part up. You can see me building the base, but uh, no, no more talking for a little bit.
so that's pretty much going to be the horde base. I need to get some more wood, some more cobblestone. Uh, but as you can see, where the zombies come in, there are four separate blocks. Um, you can kind of tell on the bottom, so these, these are poles. Uh, as of a recent patch, I believe these all have the exact same hit points as a full block. At one time, I think they did have them as less. Either way, uh, they still have to, the zombie still has to go through four blocks in order to get here. Now a dog, I suppose, would just need to go through two of the bottom ones. And then once he's through that, he can come through. But uh, a regular zombie needs to go through four. So... I will finish this up and I'll show you the rest of it. All I'm going to do is just basically put uh, a top on this. It's going to go one more higher than the, the fighting box. Um, I made these bars here so that uh, if cops show up, I can shoot them through the bars. Hopefully, uh, at least you used to be able to. Um, these aren't the same bars that you used to forge, though. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's the plan with that. Uh, this is the way in, because I once that uh, is closed off like it is now, I can't get through there, so I have to jump in through here. Um, so these blocks are removable. Let's close that. Uh, I don't have the, the top on, but it, you can kind of see. I'll jump in through there. Uh, I should slide down and then into the, the base. Getting out isn't going to be as easy because I'll hit my head on the way out, but uh, we'll see what we can do for that. Zombies should not try to get in through there. Uh, they should see this is not a path and take that path instead. Do need to flesh that out, make make it a little bit wider so that it's not just one brick that they have to destroy and then they're, they can't get anymore. But uh, it's almost 1800. We do have some time. But uh, let's go get that, uh, that airdrop, uh, and then I think that's going to be the end of the episode. And then uh, either on the next episode or on Fortnite, I will show you the rest. Uh, well, at least how it looks. So we'll have to put some spikes up on top to detract from the vultures. And as you can see, I don't know if you were watching or not, but I did gain a couple levels while I was building the base. So that's good. How many points do I have right now? I've got two. Uh, I did spend a couple. I spent a couple on mother loads that I get kind of tools. Don't know what I'm going to spend those points on yet. I'll probably figure that out during the night. And I'm actually pretty close to. Uh, another level so I should have three points by the time night rolls around I'll probably go for lucky looter because I want to find more eggs I don't know if that helps with that or not uh, but it will help with all the loot that I'll be looking for uh, the couple days before Fortnite so just get I think I'll drink my last tea I wonder if I can shoot the chicken and get some meat. I don't think it's going to get me any. Oh, a little short. Got him. All right. And I don't have... Oop. I just destroyed my arrow. Oh, there it is. Alright, get the bone. Uh, oh, it takes five. Oh, only got me four. Anyway, I got a couple pieces of meat. I think it takes five pieces of meat, though, for. No, I might be able to make some bacon and eggs. Don't hurt yourself. There you go. Uh, you can see there's kind of some iron sitting around, so eventually 
Um, hopefully I'll be running into that while I'm digging my underground tunnels. Okay, let me repair the club. Can I not repair it? What do I need to repair it? Repair with, oh, I'm out of wood. All right. <laughs> All right, repair that. So now you can repair because you got a little bit of wood. There we go. I don't remember if the zombies show up when you open this or not. Mealy Mods Bundle and a Golden Rod Seed. Uh, just one zombie? Alright, well, let's open this up. Um, so we got the Grave Digger mod, that's good. The Wood Splitter mod. Nice. Lowers degradation by 25%, that's great. I'll probably put that on my axe. Put this on my shovel. Can I, do I have enough room? I do. So that, what does it say it does? 15 more damage against wood, good. Uh, less degradation and the shovel. Well, let's hit complete, shovel, modify. And this is more damage against dirt. Did it finish it? Yep, it did. Okay, good. Well, I guess with that said, um, I need to go get a few more materials before I head underground. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing horde base that I'm going to be using that should work. It has worked in the past, but you never know what the fun, fun pimps did in Alpha 20. And I will see you all next time. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.